Hi beauty fam, welcome back to Mickey Care Beauty and Mickey Carico and on my channel I love to talk about luxury skincare and beauty and today I will be trying on, demoing and swatching and reviewing the five Chanel Rouge Allure lipsticks that I picked up from earlier this year. And so if that's interesting to you, then keep watching. But before we continue, please remember to subscribe, click the notification bell below, and then comment and like. It really helps out my channel and engagement. And then let's begin. the Chanel release for the spring collection and I ended up getting five colors uh two which are more of like the nude colors one that's like a little bit in the middle and then more the brightest ones are kind of like a berry and then a red and I just kind of wanted a nice swath of like the variety that they had I did re end up getting a lot of the ones from the fall release and I love those just because I really love fall lipsticks, the browns and whatnot, but these had some nude, but even if it was nude, there was still a little bit of a berry color inside of some of the colors and a lot of pinks and a lot of red. I really love the formula. This is probably the most Chanel lipstick that I've had in my collection this past year with the release in the fall of the Rouge Allure and then now the spring. I would definitely have to say I have favorites and the favorite one that I'm wearing is the one I'm wearing right now and that is, is the color 16 one intuitive and the reason I was he hesitating is that the color of the lipsticks is actually on the, the cap the black part and you can see here um, the Chanel cap and then the shade name and if you pull these off they don't necessarily have the color on it but ever so slightly it's very faint you can see an embossing of the color can you see that so that is color 61 and that matches up with this but sometimes I've taken these caps off and then I'm really mixed up of which is which so definitely my favorite of this release is this color 61 and on my skin tone it looks just like a little bit more of like a brown but depending on what I'm wearing and because my eye look is very warm I'm actually using that new Chanel face palette the blush and the eye quad and I'm using the deeper one is character and I think it looks really lovely together and so I just think this is like a perfect brownie new but it's not like a deep like brown brown but it's like nice for as we're coming into spring my second favorite one is the intemporals number 60 and it's that nude color this one here and I love that it's really hard for me to do nudes it's the other favorite nudes I have are probably Lisa Eldridge but sometimes I just don't want something super pigmented this formula is very light on the lips um it's nourishing it's like a it's like a demi matte almost I want I want to say it's a rouge allure velvet I'll look it up what it is um what the formula is but it's kind of like a satiny matte it's not dry it does still have that Chanel smell but I remember having older Chanel lipsticks that I couldn't even bear wearing because 
the um, smell was so strong. And these are not as bad as the old formula. So maybe they're listening to their their customer base that we like, they might be okay with some Chanel um, scent, but not just like an overpowering amount. So I would have to say, obviously, like for me, I'm really into nudes and that's kind of just like my comfort zone. I used to wear a lot of reds um initially when I first got into makeup and then I, just because of maybe trends or just me getting older I just don't feel like I need to wear super bright colors and that's just me I might wear bright colors for a certain occasion but it's not like an everyday for me and then I would say my two favorite ones after would be uh definitely the lighter ones like my least I, I know my least favorite one is the red one and that's the color um Inspirante which is this one I just have like a lot of reds and I just, it's okay. I don't know, maybe y'all like that one the best, but I just know that I'm not probably not going to wear that one as much. The ones that I like in between, I it, I was really surprised. I thought I would like the color Eternel a lot, which is this one. It's really bright, but it's almost too berry for me. Um, I would have to be wearing the right kind of outfit for that. Maybe like, um, maybe black or even the corresponding berry color, but I don't wear bright colors like that anymore. I'm usually wearing neutrals and whatnot. And that's just kind of my aesthetic lately in like this stage of my life. And then I really do like this color Essential. 63 writes Essential. And I think it's like a really nice muted berry, if you can sell. I just, this is just really bright. These are too bright for me, what I prefer, but I like this third so i hope that's helpful sometimes these are really hard i was um i ordered a lot of these from mary mua she is a chanel essay that works now at Mor nordstrom so i ended up picking these through nordstrom because i wanted to get my nordstrom points as well so i think you can find most of them there so you might want to check them out or you can go to the chanel website it's up to you wherever you want to purchase that for me i just whenever i can get um the points I'll do that and then Chanel ships much faster but the nice thing is that I was working with an essay then I get to know her and then she included some goodies in the bag as well so just like helping her out with her commission as well I don't know if they make commission but their sales they do track of how much a sales associate makes in a year I would have to say you don't need all of these I kind of regret actually getting one or two of the brighter ones and that's that's just the gamble of when you buy lipstick online unless you are lucky to live next to a Chanel boutique who has these lipsticks in stock I'm kind of flying blind of what I'm going to buy so I definitely like a really a lot the three my top three which were intuitive intemporal and then the color um, essential those are my three favorites and then I was just okay with the super bright ones and again that's just more a matter of preference and it's just interesting like let me know which one you think you you like best on me sometimes you all tell me like you really like the bright ones and uh, this is too boring for you but it's just this thing this to me is like going to be an everyday shade like it's so easy for me to wear the last thing i was going to say is like all of the makeup i have on my face i'll put in the description box below and i also link it to my affiliate link and if you choose to use the affiliate link great but no pressure no it's no pressure to do that but if you want to help support my channel the, that money goes back into buying products so it can review to you but I pretty much try to do almost an all face of Chanel so I have the ultra latent BD 51 um, foundation this is my favorite matte foundation but I was usually I actually I've been doing this a while while I actually mix this matte foundation with Caudalie this vino perfect and I'm kind of wondering if that's that new trend cloud makeup. I don't know if you've all heard of it, but I have been doing this for like close to two years already, like always mixing it with a serum just because it's so matte. I don't like things that are super matte. I like for them to have like a little bit of glow. And so that's kind of what you're seeing on my face is that this matte foundation usually is like super, it's a little bit more flat, but I add uh, any sort of serum. You could use like a Chantecai uh, Radiant Serum or anything sort of a glowy serum. This isn't necessarily a glowy serum. It's a, it, it actually is a Radiant Serum, but it's also like um, for dark spots. So I actually have been using that mixed with the foundation. I use also the Hydra Gel Micro Yeah for under eye as well. And then I have under my eyes, I'm still using the Chanel Le Correcte Yeux under eye concealer this one and, and I use the shade 40 and I have a um, review of that and then I'm using the Chanel bronzer as well 
This is in the color Sunkiss. This is the Le Beige's Oversized Healthy Glow Sunkiss Powder. Technically a powder, but I've been using it as a bronzer and it's in the deepest shade in Sun Bath Deep. I have that as bronzer. And then again, I am, I'm going to do a review of this. I don't want to do first impressions of this face palette from Chanel, but it's the Chanel Caractère and the deeper one. And I'm so glad I ended up picking up this. I don't want to say my thoughts because I don't want to. <laughs> I'm going to put it in my review. So stay tuned for that's why you want to like subscribe to my channel if you want to see what I think. But this is like the first day I'm using it and I definitely have thoughts. So I have most of the colors on my eyes and then two colors I have on my cheeks today. So I'll let you know which ones I have this color here towards the back and this one in the front for my cheeks. And then I have all four colors on my eyes for a kind of like a more bold look.
So I hope that was helpful, beauty fam. And if you liked the video, please remember to like below. It helps out my channel and comment if you are so inclined. And don't forget to subscribe and click the ring notification bell so you get notification of when all my videos come up. So as always, please be very kind to yourself and others and just be you, beauty fam. Take good care. Bye.